Hi, my name is Bernardo, and now I'm going to show you one of the best projects that I've ever built in my whole life. I built it when I was 15, two years ago, and it's basically a smart video when I come. You can recognize your face and open the door automatically for you, or you can control it through a mobile web that I've coded together with the device that I built. The idea started when I was just trying to open my door electrically, and then with some versions it evolved to be in the end like this. And that's a project that I'm really proud of having done. So now I'll show you a video that I recorded when I was finishing the project, and it basically explains all the functionalities of the project as a whole. Hope you like it. All right, so just voice over through the video because it's originally speaking in Portuguese. But let's move on. This is the intercom. It captures video, audio, and it sends all this data to the phone. So you can control it through our mobile. There's also the doorbell that plays when someone pushes this button. And it can also open the door if you push here. All right, so it worked. And in the app, here's the video being recorded by the intercom's camera. And if it's dark, its sensor will detect and enable the front light, thus making the video get brighter. There's a possibility to save a real-time picture of the video and then it's stored in the gallery. Back in the app, it can also start an internet voice call to the device so you can communicate with who's outside. Let me try once. Hi. Hi. Hey. Testing. Thus, this is the call and there are some other options to mute it or to put it on the speakerphone. So mute it. It won't get my voice. And on the speakerphone, it gets louder, of course. Through this button, you can open the door remotely. Essentially, the same function of the doorbells one. And this little sound intercom does is when it sends energy to these cables that are connected to the doors lock in order to open it. It can also control who uses my device, that is, who has access to it. And if someone wants to gain access, the person can send me a request asking for permission. Then this request comes directly to this screen so I can accept or decline it. Another way is through a link, which can be sent in any social media, for instance. So when the person clicks on it, the account will be allowed to control the intercam. And here I can also change the Wi-Fi network the device is connected to, and there are also some account settings and logout. Another capability is the voice comment. I can use Google Assistant to open it. Abre o portão. Open the door. Portão aberto. Door opened. In this way, the internet can activate the door's lock. And as a matter of fact, these comments can be sent from anywhere in the world. And when I press the intercom's button, it sends a message to the doorbell and to the phones connected to it. So the doorbell starts ringing, and in the phone, it receives a push notification warning that there is someone in the door. And shows the option to open directly from the notification, if it's someone you already know. It comes with a photo taken in the time of the button press so you can recognize without entering the app. Let's try to open it. Done. And that's all my app does. There is one more thing I want to show you, which is basically how it's the inside of the device. And here we have the video board. It captures video and photos from this camera and sends to the phone through internet. Here, this antenna is used by the board to increase its range, its coverage. We have a small board that I built, which is connected to the power, and then it sends the, the current to this charger, which is basically a note phone charger. 
And then this charger provides energy for all the components in the device. Here we have a relay, which basically is ordered by the camera, by the, the, the board to open the door. And right now it's disconnected because I had to use it, but it basically sends a signal to the lock. And down here we have uh, the light sensor, which detects the luminosity and the brightness of the external area. Down here over everything, there is the audio board and it was basically used in the phone calls. And there's also so a speaker here, so the person outside can hear what's being communicated by the person in the cell phone. Two more things, and one is the microphone, which basically takes the audio input and the button, which is used here. And that's basically everything that the device has. And wow, that was a project. And one thing that made me feel even more proud of doing it was that I built it with almost no structure. As you can see from the video, I didn't have a really good phone at that time. Neither a PC, mine was a 10 year old one that my father lent me. But even with all those problems and, you know, living in a small city in which I don't have a lot of access to electronics, I could overcome those challenges and still do it all. And it was a project that made me learn a lot of things. So I'm really thankful and happy for it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.